Fill in the blanks to make the statement true. I'm going to show you two different ones here. For number one, 10 feet per day is how many feet per week? If we're converting from a small unit to a bigger unit, we're going to multiply. And there are seven days in a week. So 10 times 7 would give us 70 feet per week. But in the last example, or in the last problem, 30 miles per minute, and we're converting to miles per second. A minute is larger than a second, so we're going to divide. And there are 60 seconds in one minute, which reduces to 3 over 6, or 1 half. So that is a half of a mile per second. Complete the remaining four problems in your composition book. Ignition sequence start. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Okay, so we're looking at the distance between Earth and the moon, and our goal is to try and figure out how long it would take for a horse to run that distance, or the same distance from the Earth to the moon. But first we're going to start with a look at some unit rates for just how fast a horse runs. Here it says, what is the horse's rate in feet per second? Remember, this tells us the order in which we divide. So we want the feet divided by the number of seconds. And this is a lesson where we'll get to use a calculator. So if you have one at home, go ahead and grab that out, and you can use it here. So we are going to type in 7,920 and we're going to divide by 150. And that gives us 52.8 feet per second. But now we're trying to convert between feet per minute. So since this is a smaller unit, 
there are 60 seconds in a minute. So we're going to multiply that rate by 60. And if you type that into your calculator, you're going to get 3,168 feet per minute. Here in part C, it says, how about feet per hour? Well, we know that we just had 3,168 feet per minute. Hours is a bigger unit, and there are 60 minutes in an hour. And that is 190,080 feet per hour. How about in miles per hour? Feet is a smaller unit and miles is a bigger unit. But since this one is in the front, if we're trying to convert it to miles, we should have a fewer amount of miles than feet. So we're going to take 190,080 and we're going to divide by how many feet there are in a mile. And there are 5,280 feet in every single mile. And that gives us 36 miles per hour. So the horse runs at a rate of 36 miles per hour. Number two confirms that. It says a horse runs 36 miles per hour. The distance from Earth to the moon is about 238,855 miles. How many days would it take a horse to run from Earth to the moon? Assume the horse runs at a constant speed. Assume there is actually a road from Earth to the moon. Okay, so to solve these problems, we're first going to try and Think about how many days it would take us. What is this question asking us? How long would it take that horse to run this distance? We know from the video that it will take longer than about 30 days. What number do you think is reasonable? Should it take 2,000 days? And then, after we've read the question and know what our goal is, we are going to represent it. So we have several different representations for unit rates. We have the double number line. We have a ratio table. We have a graph. And you might also think of some others, maybe a um, tape diagram. For this one, I am going to use a double number line. We have miles and we have hours. In a double number line we always start with zero on both and we know that it runs 36 miles per hour means that that would take him one hour. And we know our goal is this many miles. So we might have to think backwards because I don't know what number I would multiply by to get here. But if I divide 23,000 or 238,855 by 36, that will tell me what I multiply by. And again, this is a calculator lesson. And that comes out to about 6,634.9. If I multiply by 6,634.9, that would give me 
6,634.9 hours. But our goal is to figure out how many days. So I need to change those hours into days. We are using a unit that is bigger, so it should take fewer of them, and there are 24 hours in a day. So if I divide by 24, I get about 276.5 days. So that's the solve part, and now we need to summarize. It would take this horse approximately 276.5 days if it ran at a speed of 36 miles per hour So here's a little bit more of that read, represent, solve, summarize strategy. First, you're going to read the problem and try and figure out what it is asking you to do and what information you know that will help you start to solve it. You're going to represent it. Make sure you use labels if you're creating a table, a graph, or a diagram. Make sure you define, define your variables. So for example, we used miles and minutes, or sorry, miles and hours. And then you solve the question and make sure your answer makes sense and summarize your results. For number three, you are using that same strategy, but you're just choosing one of these. So it says choose a method of travel from the list. You can choose to run, you can choose the sloth, the falcon, the cheetah, the tortoise, a scooter, train, dirt bike, fire truck, or roller skates. And it says the distance from the Earth to the Moon is about 238,855 miles. How many weeks would it take to travel from Earth to the Moon? Assume the chosen traveler or mode of transportation moves at a given speed as needed. Assume there is an actual road from Earth to the Moon. For the sake of this video, I am going to choose the fire truck. And it says they go 55 feet per second. So here's the information I know. I know that distance is 238,855 miles. And I know the fire truck goes 55 feet per second. And the goal is to figure out how many weeks it takes. So I'm going to start by converting it to how many feet per minute. 55 times 60 will tell me how many feet per minute. If I multiply by 60 again, that will tell me how many feet per hour. I might want to change it to miles at this point. Remember, there are 5,280 feet in a mile. So this is 37 and a half miles per hour. But we're trying to get to weeks, so I'm going to keep going. 37 and a half miles. There are 24 hours in a day. And there are seven days in a week. Awesome.
I have 238,855 miles to go, and I am traveling at a speed of 6,300 miles per week. So I'm going to divide 6,300 and this will tell me how many weeks it's going to take. So we read it, we figured out what we knew, we solved it, and now we need to summarize. Make sure that your workbook is filled in. If you'd like to do more than one mode of transportation, you can try another one on your own. And make sure your warm-ups are complete.